Hello and welcome back to another episode of Excel Learning Series with Sayed. In this episode, we will be discussing the index function and see how we can calculate the shipping cost using the index function. To follow along with me, make sure you have a copy of this workbook downloaded using the link in the video description. In this workbook, we have two worksheets, shipping cost by location and cost calculation. In the shipping cost by location, we have a table that shows the cost of shipping by zone locations and the packet size. So let's go to the cost calculation and here we have order IDs, the price of that item, the shipping zone it needs to be sent to and the size of the packet. Using this information, we will find the shipping cost with the help of index function. Now, how do we go about it? Let's take a look. I will begin by typing in equal to in the cell E2, type index, press tab on the keyboard to complete that function. The first argument that we need to pass is the array of information or a reference to a table. I will be passing in the array in this demonstration. So here in the shipping cost by location, I have this table. I will select this entire grid and then press F4 on the keyboard to lock it down. Now insert comma. The second part that I need to provide is the row number. That is which zone it needs to be sent to. I have that information here in the cost calculation sheet. In the column C, I will select that, insert comma. Then we have column number. That is the packet size. What is the size of the packet? I will select this one in the column D, close the bracket and press enter. Now I have the shipping cost. How did it exactly work? In the shipping zone, that is the zone 7, the packet size 3 has the shipping cost. Let's take a look. The index function will come into this grid and look for the 7th zone, that is this zone, for the packet that is of size 3. And the intersecting point, wherever it is intersecting, that is on this location, that is the value that will be returned by the index function. So for the zone 7, packet size 3, the cost of shipping is $7. And if we go here, that's what we got. If I just drag this down, I will have the calculation done for other areas also. Let's take a random pick. Zone 8, packet size 1. It is $4. And here we have $4. Now what would be the total cost? Item price plus the shipping cost. That will be the total cost press enter and we have our total cost of the item with the shipping price. I hope you found this video helpful. I request you to practice as much as you can. Use your own data, use this data that you have. Practice as much as you can to retain this learning. In case if you have any questions, do not hesitate to leave a comment below and I'll be more than happy to help you. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to enable notifications. Thank you for investing your time and have a lovely day.